Crooked Culprits Podcast. Crooked Culprits. All right. <laughs> All right. Episode nine. Episode nine, Ready. baby. Oh, I, I left my... That's Fucking, uh, you know? Yeah. Coming... Uh, I, I do know. Coming into the world, being... Uh, I always come into the world. You know? Fuck being the world. faster, better than always. Faster, you know? faster. This faster. time, <laughs> our... Uh, Camera should actually be in 4K. We've been releasing them in 4K, but yeah. they weren't pumping out. It, it was scaling up to. So now it's going to be released in, in, in native 4K. 4K yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> we figured that's it out. all that's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, moving forward, this just means that episode 10 is going to have all the collective wonderful things that we have yeah. figured out. And when I release it, I can this. be like, 4K again! 4K. Even 4K year than Even before. 4K year. <laughs> yeah. 4K year. Before K year. The 4K year. 4 k year for for yeah. Man. At least we're catching it on 4K now. You know, it's 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 just <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that was a little rough. We're we're figuring it out. We're we're getting there. Slicing <laughs> through it, baby. Yeah. So, uh, but, Crooked uh, Culprits are back at it again. Fucking yes. Tony Hoffman here with my boy uh, Shawnee Sean Dukes, Dukes. You know, aka Ooh. the uh, final solution. Yeah, the final solution, <laughs> aka the one Jewish hope. You know, <laughs> the one Jewish hope. Come on, dude. One Jewish hope. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> hey, Jesus was also Jewish, so striving you know? again. Yeah, shalom. Shabbatanist. Oh, I, with, I know with, the water. Yeah, with the water. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. It's all right. I'm not into too much bad luck, but everybody that knows me knows that's my one thing. I'm like, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, he did it though, so he gets the bad luck, right? I'm, I'm yeah. okay. I'm absolved. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the bad luck. It's it's fine. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, you don't need any more. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I've had all the bad luck I can handle for this. Uh, yeah. The next 75,000 yeah. years. Dude, so. speaking of fucking bad luck, uh, fucking, uh, we went to Hawaii last year. Yeah, I want to <laughs> hear about this. I heard you yeah. guys had a ball out there. We uh, we had sort of a ball. We had we something. Had sort of a ball, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So not only, we, we had like an A ball of cocaine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the flights were super cheap and that was awesome, but we had like an eight-hour layover. Shout out to Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty airline prices although southwest is actually pretty good. i fly united so i can pay really? more to be harassed Dude, oh wait, when i was yeah. when i was fucking a child uh my when mom you were fucking a child <laughs> <laughs> no go ahead no no go ahead no. When, I was, when i was a child when i was a child getting fucked well, uh, i was just a young man oh, boy when i was just a young man boy uh my mom and i were flying i think to chicago chicago and yeah, and Chirac, <laughs> Chirac, and uh, I was like maybe four or three or four, and my mom booked f uh, flights or whatever, and but the seats weren't together, and I was four, so my mom was like asking people, and they weren't yeah. wanting to switch and everything, and she's like, I can't leave my four year old child like. And so she went to the desk and was like, can you guys change it? Can you fix it? And they were like, no, but we can like have you on a flight like tomorrow. And I think we were going for like a wedding or something that was the next day. She yeah, was like, that you're going to miss the whole. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, that doesn't fucking work. And so like, I guess like I was little and I was like, mommy, why aren't they letting us sit together? <laughs> <laughs> and like, and like she was just like That's having it. And so we, I don't even remember. I think they ended I up like fixing it. I was thrilled to not have it. to sit with my mom on the thing. I was like like you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have to, <laughs> you don't have. I don't have to sit with you. All right. Well, I was. I was like four. I, I fucking still needed my mommy. Yeah. I love my mom. Yeah. To caress you down the sun. You yeah. Know? Make sure that I don't fly. Although I played. Mommy hide wasn't I there. <laughs> Changed my underwear. I played hide and seek <laughs> in an airport. That was pretty good. 
What? <laughs> yeah, when I was when I was like five. Uh, what a douchebag, child! I, I, I know, yeah. I hid in, in the That's like That's the first thing circular. I'd say. I'd be like, "You're such a douchebag." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I definitely scared my parents there. They they were uh, they were not thrilled. Where where were you? Where you? Where you end up hiding? DIA. I, I was in in a clothing rack, one of those circular ones uh, yeah. that you could like hide in. Yeah. So I I just yeah I was like. This is the g- good time to play hide and seek. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, you but get, anyway, Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, so Hawaii, man. So you guys, uh, you fly out to Hawaii. You get some <clears throat> excellent prices on Southwest. Yes. To the third the world. Yep. You know, all the way. Third world flights for ocean. third world locations. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Fuck it. Those prices are ridiculous. But yeah, yeah. we got to stay for free because uh, one of the, the girls, we were going for an engagement party. Right. And so the the girl that got engaged or is married now, uh, she got us like a place. Like we just slept on like the floor of the house that they like rented and yeah. stuff well i i got the bed because everybody felt bad because the first day i got gout <laughs> yeah yeah we'll, 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 <laughs> a little we'll, gout we'll, attack <laughs> we'll call her banana banana <laughs> banana for this, this story here. um yeah and then so so i got gout like the second day we were there and then like the fourth day we were there fucking nate's dog killed one of his cats he like brought it to his his mom's house and he just like murdered a cat so he got that call midweek and then like (laughs) two other people got sick and so it was it was a great time that Up dog's until, an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that that <laughs> dog is a little bit of. She's better. She's definitely better. Uh, she's she's a good. She's roommate. a reformed asshole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely a reformed asshole. Just uh, a little bit. <laughs> but then uh, on on Friday, so we we're leaving Saturday. It's Friday. Everybody goes and they catch this, uh, or I, I guess not everybody. It was like maybe four or five people went, and they uh, went they catch deep the sea COVID. fishing. Oh. <laughs> that too <laughs> but they caught a fucking 80 pound trout oh i shit. think was it 80 80 pounds i think it was 80 pounds and uh so the rule is if it's anything above like 40 you have to split it and you can keep half mm-hmm. if it's over a certain weight and so we got to keep half of it and so that was going to be dinner for the night I went and got a cool turtle tattoo, which you've seen. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, dude. That that was pretty. It's awesome. on his butthole, y'all. It see is. It? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a butthole tattoo. It's pretty great. It's a yeah, little turtle. Dude. My dick's the the head, so that it Very pops cool. out of the shell. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, yeah. So I uh, I was getting a tattoo that took about three hours, and and I was with we we had eleven people. A total that yeah. were there. Three of them were two of them were sick. I was out getting a tattoo. I get a text message in the middle of my tattoo session that hey, a bunch of people went out to uh the like two islands that were around where we're staying. Like and so when you say islands, you don't mean a different Hawaiian island. No. You mean like a little ass fucking rock. Yeah, yeah. It was like a mile <laughs> off of the Hawaiian shore. I think we were Holy in. Shit. I think we were in Maui. I'm not sure though. I think I don't remember where we fucking went. Um, like, I just was fucking dude, dead. I, dude, that was literally my my goal that whole time was I didn't want to plan anything. I didn't want to do anything. Yeah. I went with the flow. That was that was the trip for me. It was great. Uh, but they uh, went out to these two like islands. They're like a mile Busy off the bodies. shore. Yeah, and uh, a couple people stayed back. So like I think five or six people ended up actually going out into the water. And uh, so I got the text. They're like, yeah. So nine one one was called and all this stuff. So I. I'm sitting in my tattoo shop. There's a couple people that stayed back are the only ones that survived. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, all my friends are dead. <laughs> Rock on! Just kidding. Everybody was not, har- well, everybody was not dead. In- it's like that Turbo Negro song from Jackass, fucking, all my friends are dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got a bullet exactly. in the head. <laughs> all my friends are dead. <laughs> Um, so I get back and so everybody's telling me what happens. And so apparently, uh, they all decided to go, uh, canoeing out to these islands 
and uh, a couple of them, so two islands, you know, are, are right here. And so they're going down the middle and all the all the waves and stuff start picking up. And with because of the, the way that water works around islands, you know, you kind of get that like drift. From that stuff uh, in it. oh yeah, I forget what that's called, but I, that yeah, the riptide. I'm not a yeah, where it something like, pulls like that. You, where it pulls you out and stuff. That's the yeah. riptide, I think. This it, because it was like it's like a funnel. I don't know the way that the water worked. Yeah, I it think just, that's it was a like, riptide. Pull, yeah, okay. It's, it's when probably. the like waves create this like you know like you said like kind of like funnel that just like pulls you out, and a yeah. lot of people panic and drown, and they like run out of steam. Yep. What you're supposed yeah. to do is swim perpendicular to like so if you're being pulled out to see this way you want to swim horizontally that way you okay. want to like swim out to the right because like you said there's a stream going this way yeah. so you get out of the stream and then you can come back well this but is most people just <laughs> ah! yeah. there was that your friends they well, just panicked as they were riptided of, yeah yeah no absolutely nobody well, told them about the riptide i thought banana was a fucking <laughs> native fucking <laughs> cakey hawaiian, hawaiian yeah. bro fucking, yeah. you no. know what i mean banana was <laughs> sent there and uh, you know, her people came over here long ago on the <laughs> on American the Express of Rewards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My people came over here six months ago. <laughs> From yeah. Denver. From Denver. <laughs> Yeah, no, she was born there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's a native but, cakey. Yeah, so, so we'll they, call her cakey <laughs> from now on. Cakey. Banana cakey. cakey. Banana cakey. Ooh, I love banana cake. Or banana bread, sorry. Banana, banana cakey. Yeah, banana, banana bread. Banana. He's like, banana cake, he's like, <laughs> she's all right. But like, she's banana right. cake is way better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Despite yeah. however <laughs> she may or not be right. Exactly. And so, yeah, so they're getting banana. pulled into the, uh, into the riptide. And uh, one of my buddies, uh, Nate, uh, he, like, we had a picture. His thighs were fucking blue. Nate's a big guy. Nate's a big guy. Well, he he didn't even, he he turned back because the waves and everything were getting fucked. And he was a little bit behind everybody. So he was like, fuck this. Like, he was I'm, a big guy. I'm He's still... like, y'all fucking retards go out <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And so, and like, and he kept getting knocked out of his canoe. Yeah. And so he he kept having to pull himself back up and everything. Hey, happens. Yeah, and that's where his bruises came from. So he was super bruised. Um, the there was another couple that uh, were with us, and they made it to the island, but they were like standing on like a coral mm -hmm. part of the island. So when the water was hitting them, it was dragging their like feet and their bodies against the coral. Like they were they were all cut up. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> there was another guy who also made it to the island and he had a huge, he had a fucking chunk. Like we, I was there when he pulled it out. Like he fucking like just, we got like tweezers and just pulled out a fucking chunk. He pulled out coral. enough fucking coral out of this man's leg to get him uh, extradited from <laughs> Hawaii for stealing the native <laughs> right. coral, which yeah, is we, illegal. Right? <laughs> Dude, yeah, we should have fucking taken it and made like a pendant out of it. That would have been cool. <laughs> <laughs> the customs on the way back because they still have customs on the way there because it's uh, as it's still I think, America, yeah. but because they have like foreign species mm -hmm. of fruits, fruits and, and animals wombats and, and yeah. So somebody bananas. was joking about me just bringing Banana a cakes. turtle back with me. Yeah, <laughs> just, just oh, yeah. bring one in my suitcase. They really <laughs> like it when you touch the turtles there. They really. I know do. that when I was yeah. a little kid, I went out to Hawaii and like you know they were like. I think we all touched the turtle. The guide touched the turtle. And then when we got back, they were like, I told someone, and they're like, you're not supposed to touch the turtles. And I was like, oh, cool. Oops. I might have touched the turtle. I'm not saying I did. I'm not saying I didn't. I but, got to uh, touch turtles when I had You know, turtles. now that the uh, <laughs> pod is officially going here, we have to do the ceremonial gong bang that we forgot here. Oh, so. we did forget about the gong bang. That's all right. Bang, we're going. Right? We're in it now. And... Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah. Podcast nine. So everybody uh, dies. <laughs> so your friends are out there. Uh, a couple of them go to this island. Yeah. A few of them don't make it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, so so they 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 flipped out with the Nate capsized in his canoe, and then the yeah, other couple had went. the coral going through their legs yep. and bleeding out. And, and uh, one of them made it to the island and then started, like, to try and go help other people and then ended up getting, like, caught back in it. Like, it was a, it was a very, very death 
kind of situation. Oh, which like, one was that? Uh, Aaron. Aaron made it to the island oh, and then he came back. Okay. He was he because he's he's a good dude. He wanted Aaron's to go a fucking help. Hero. He is a fucking hero. We love you, Aaron. Swole. <laughs> nice nipples. Um, <laughs> for you, baby. Aaron. There's actually he uh, went as me for Halloween. Yeah, was, dude. He I, dressed I up as the. We'll, uh, we'll throw that up there. As the yeah. Duganator. Yeah, yeah, dude. Definitely. Uh, he, he wanted me to be there. Fucking Dugan on <laughs> Halloween. Halloween yeah. or, or, you know, the Dugan impersonator. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that was because we went to bad friends. <laughs> so I couldn't go. Right, right. And so he dressed up as me for Halloween. Nice, so that nice. Could, so that I was still part of the spirit. <laughs> And uh, so we'll we'll talk about that later, but uh, yeah, no, we'll get into the bad friends <laughs> thing next. As, you know, yeah, you know, but uh, but yeah, and so so nine one one had to be called, and like ski patrol, not ski patrol. Fuck it, that's Denver ski patrol. <laughs> <laughs> they had water to call patrol, ski patrol out water, of Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, yeah, water patrol. I think it is called ski patrol. They called. They got fucking uh, it's water skis, right? Yeah, they had Pamela Anderson out there. <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> Hasselhoff and mm -hmm. the whole crew, dude. Just Hasselhoff and fucking yeah. So so out of like, hey, he's really <laughs> popular in parts of Asia. <laughs> yeah, some parts of Asia. <laughs> I would be, I'd be that. You know, I'll hey, take it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're popular anywhere, I mean, I guess whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, so like, out of the eleven people that went to Hawaii, like six almost died. That was that was really cool. That was a that was a good time. So now I have a really good story for my tattoo. So that's that's helpful. But the swordfish we ate that night was fucking divine. Nice. Fucking div best best fish I've ever had. You mean the trout? Uh the swordfish. We 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 got swordfish. Did but I you say caught trout? They they caught a swordfish. I thought I said swordfish. Did I say trout? You did say trout. Okay. Well, yeah. My swordfish would have been it was, cooler. So it is. It was a swordfish. It was a marlin. It was a marlin. Yeah. They it was a marlin. Got a big marlin. They did. Yeah. And it was fucking amazing. Did you name it marlin? We, yes. <laughs> and then we ate the fuck out of it. Damn, we had bro. we had sushi and we had some fucking swordfish steaks. It was. It was, nice. it was pretty mm. solid. And then we all got to come home after dying. Without <laughs> your boy, although, like, y'all almost sorry. died. Yeah. So it's like, well, take me on the yeah. one when nobody dies. Exactly, yeah. I, I, you I knew. Want you to, I did. That's yeah. thoughtful. I was like, no, Tony, you got to stay well, back thoughtful this time. thoughtful, Yep. Yep. Yeah. So Worthy. it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people almost died within, like, a week. My <laughs> nephew <laughs> fucking almost was in the hospital that, like, a couple days after. Yeah, yeah. We got... Yeah, all the things. And Banana, <laughs> Banana, you know, was was a big hero, I hear. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really she, saved yeah. everybody. <laughs> yep. She she was uh she was the number one hero of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least when the cops arrived, she no, was like, I yeah. tried to save everybody. Native wine, cakey here. Yep. Banana cakey. <laughs> all right, banana cakey. Shout out. Yeah. Big banana. Yep, yep. <laughs> Word. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. They were, they were, they were loving that. And that then was uh, pretty good. there's still some hurt feelings over. That. Yeah, yeah, dude. It seems yeah, like it. Seems yeah. you know, so, you know, she kind of did some things there, huh? <laughs> yeah, it, it was fine for them apparently, but it was, it was, it was a, it was a minor inconvenience if, uh, if you ask some. If people. you ask Banana Kiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Well, she's native, so yeah, exactly. You can, <laughs> Swims you can, with the dolphins and dude, fucking tusk, like the fucking fucks with seal. the turtles. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Ugh. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and then uh, after that, uh, or you know, Hawaii. Uh, you were talking about the uh, your uh, your Halloween, you know, excursion mm -hmm. there, you know. So while uh, while your friend was dressing up as sexy Sean, uh, we went to. Yeah. Uh, to bad friends live we did it was so shout out good. to one of the best pods out yes. there you know, bobby lee collaborate <laughs> collaborate <laughs> collaborate <laughs> dismantle have us on the pod baby that'd be cool that'd be that'd be awesome i'd love to talk to bobby lee we can we can trauma bond even if it was uh <laughs> even if it was you know a quick virtual thing it'd be really true cool yeah that, that'd be really cool get get old santino <laughs> and the lee out here yeah. and you know do a thing i mean hey you're always welcome down to our studio but you know yeah i don't know if you have that kind of time where i'm in denver <laughs> so 
Yeah. But, uh, you know. Kind of far away. Could do lots of stuff live, too. Or, it's you true. know, streamed and whatnot. Yeah, streaming would be cool. Well, and they do that a lot for a lot of different yeah. things. But uh, Bad but, Friends but Live, live man, yeah, that was, was amazing. so good. The kind of live that they don't <clears throat> show on YouTube and anywhere else. Like, this is like. No. This is we, a, we saw team. Bobby's butthole. We saw the we saw Bobby's b hole and it was and and we liked it. Yeah, it also cost him ten thousand dollars. <laughs> it did, it did. But you know, he, he, you know, yeah. The, the Lee man keeps on coming on. I, and, you know, if you have ten thousand dollars to show people your butthole, then I guess. And you know you what, know? Bob? Like you can show me <laughs> your down. butthole. He's down. Anytime, any, any day of the week. Any day of the week. <laughs> I'll take a nice chunky look at it. What an experience! They uh, they oh, got yeah. up and uh, they do stand up. They had Juicy Jetski Johnson yeah. going in there with an amazing <clears throat> set. Uh, then Santino followed it up, and Bobby Lee capped it off. And yeah. you know they were all good. Santino, he's a he's a he's a you know multifaceted, talented guy. You know, I thought Bobby's set you know might have slapped harder on the on the comedy aspect but I think you know I, I that's still why enjoyed, Bobby goes last I still enjoyed <laughs> Santino um I yeah, have to say Santino Jetski might have had the best set I um, agree she was so she's good so funny she was so good such a short set but like really yeah. good fun and then for the latter half of the show they kind of riff with the audience and do like yeah. a live thing and bring people up and you know, they gave people a chance to sign some buttholes, seeing waivers and stuff, so you could get up there and do stuff. And, yeah, uh, that was the really crooked cool. culprits didn't get chosen. We saw a little. We hole, did not. But yeah, we know, tried. Um, we tried. We 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 definitely we, some pretty funny fuckers <laughs> that went up there. The fucking the yeah. rap guy, you know. Fucking. Yeah, his rap was uh, was. <laughs> My not. name is Dave, and I'm here to say I rap like I'm real fucking. What? Well, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I have a better rap on the first podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah it was there. literally <laughs> you know worse than Sean's uh, spitting fire game off the phone for you. So yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Dude, but the the queefing that yeah, was yeah. So oh there was a very talented woman, <laughs> very talented. She came on. I shitteth thy not. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, this is. 100% she stood in front of everybody, true. told us all her talent, and we needed a little more time. They actually didn't want to like keep passing around that mic, you know. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, and, I mean. and, yeah. <laughs> but eventually, Bob was like, the curiosity got the best of us all. Yep. <laughs> and we needed to see what she had, and this young woman displayed her talent. It was a talent. For, it was a talent. For the whole crap. I mean, because that was the whole thing. It was like they said, put your talent on the, the paper and yeah. get up. The one guy got up there and rapped, and she's like, well, I can queef on command. Yeah, queef on command. On? That is a talent. Command. <laughs> yep. My God. Uh, she did it like, what, like seven times, 12 times? It was It was a lot. Seven? Yeah, no, it was it was a lot no, of times. No, many more. Many more. She did okay, seven yeah. initially. Yeah, yeah. She like farted it was... out a quick <laughs> seven like a fucking tune. Uh, tune? <laughs> Puss Burger uh, Puss Burger. tunes, you know? Fucking her little, uh, her little Oompa Loompa trumpet was fucking sounding off. She was fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you do that really well. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, I mean, I'm, Dude, I can't do it on command, but. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. And well, she just, you're just dude, not as cool. I'm telling you, dude, she, she had that mic, that SM fucking 58 microphone. <laughs> Shout out to Shore making good microphones for yeah, pussy farts. We... <laughs> right down in there, just had her fucking little beef cannon fucking oh, yeah. kicking it, you know? Let the yeah. beef cannon kick it. <laughs> Let the beef cannon <laughs> kick it. <laughs> <laughs> and and cool. she did, and she did that fucking. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, this woman and her fucking snooze had, <laughs> yeah. I mean, otherworldly talent. She, otherworldly. She had transcended <laughs> time and space well, with her fucking pukiak. You and know? She, she was also very talented with her that's hands. A, that's a little, I know you guys just started watching Sopranos. That's a little Sopranos term for you. Was oh, it? yeah. Watching but, it with okay, her little yeah, pukiak, you know? I haven't seen that far into <laughs> yeah, it. Good. But uh, can you she, say that on the TV? <laughs> yeah, 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 I have no idea. That's, that's fine. fine. They, don't, they don't know TV. what it means. This isn't TV. They don't know what it means. <laughs> don't know what it means. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> Nobody's seen The Sopranos other than you and like maybe a couple other people. Yeah, like <laughs> like a couple. Yeah, then, then. 
Uh, but she she built that milking table for her boyfriend. Oh too. yeah, she's a multifaceted, <laughs> multifaceted talented woman. Yeah, she yeah. also <laughs> told us about what she yeah. built for her boyfriend. Yep, you know, yep. That was uh, I, that was the first time I figured out what a milking table. Yeah, was. what you I was. It's like if unaware. you cut a little hole right here, and then right there. you lay down into it with your yeah. schmeck with your uh, your schmeckle down there. And then she gets down there and, you know, you can imagine the rest. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, she gets a bucket and everything. Didn't, uh, what, what, didn't somebody from Bad Friends or uh, YMH also do that? Yeah, uh, the the yeah. Uh, the producer that was also there um, on stage. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Does, he's, he's a weird <laughs> motherfucker. And he, yeah. he does the he milking like, table <laughs> shit. And, yeah. You they know, got so, along really well. Yeah, Probably yeah. Probably not yeah. great for the boyfriend, but. Yeah, yeah, this chick's <laughs> out here queefing for us all, talking yeah. about how she fucking likes to queef little farts out her little fucking snart wallet. It's like, damn, bro. It was <laughs> wild, man. All right, wild. new definitions of vagina. <laughs> we, we got like six of them. Cross that one off, man. And, uh, You know. Yeah, Bad Friends good was show, awesome. ton of fun. Yeah, that was such a good and, time. And uh, yeah. a few months before, we in a... You know, took uh, took the lady, you and a couple of people out. We went over to the yeah. up to Red Rocks and yeah. and watched uh, Bert Kreischer do his show. Dude, and, like, Bert, that was a great show. Big Bert, fantastic. You know, yeah, the d- doing I actually, himself. I really liked the guy that he had on at first too. He was really good. He was making a bunch of Jewish jokes too. I want to say that you was Big J, right? Or Big J was on first. You didn't miss him. It was the second guy. Oh, Dan Soder was on yeah, first. Dan yeah, Soder he, slapped. They had him coming through the speakers in the room when I went to the bathroom, too. Uh-huh. I couldn't believe it. You know, by the time I came back, you already missed, like, half of the first two, you know. But but yeah. it was that or Bert, you know. Right, so yeah. I you're was you're like, not going to miss Bert. I wasn't going to miss Bert. So yeah, he went had some in really and, fire Jewish jokes. I, I liked it. Yeah, like, dude. They were like, how many? Or Yeah, he was like, are there any Mexicans? Are that might have been people? Big J. I think are I they, heard that part, yeah. you know. <laughs> But are he, there any Jews? Yeah. There's like two of us, and he's like, <laughs> "We like you too." <laughs> yeah, he went hard, man. Yeah, it was, it was pretty great. It, it was, was awesome, <laughs> fun experience. It was. Know? It was a great time. Fucking Bert slapped. We got to hear the machine live, which is just you know you got it at least once. Yeah. You know, history in the making. We went and saw the movie too. So. Yeah, yeah, we saw the movie. That was very well done and the machine movie's excellent if anybody like, hasn't seen that one yet it really we, we uh, need more of that quite under well that's what everybody was saying is that, you know this is if his movie did well which it did it kind of is going to open up a lot of doors for a lot of the old school comedy movies that you just don't yeah, see these super days super bad like all that get kind hard, of stuff or exactly. get hard was new with kevin hart i don't that's still that one. that's like it's still it's pretty like 10 old 10 years old yeah. will ferrell had a bunch of them yeah. step brothers yeah, yeah you don't doing see all that kind yeah, of stuff yeah you don't so. see it anymore it's cuz everybody's too pc nobody can take a fucking joke everybody's too scared yeah too but scared. we're not we're not we're not scared we'll no. we'll make the jokes not scared to make any of them. Nope. Like, uh, <laughs> like talking uh, about uh, all these crazy people these days. You know, you talking about Hawaii yeah. and all your crazy friends. You know, it was, uh, reminds me of. Uh, doesn't remind me of necessarily, but like you know, uh, my I have a little 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 story here with my uh, my old roommate. He uh, was was yeah. kind of a wild motherfucker. You know, yeah. um, we'll uh, we'll get into a little video. Um, that's gonna mm-hmm. gonna preface this next uh, story. He's a character that only uh, you know deserves explanation. So we're gonna cut into that now, yeah. and we'll uh, <laughs> we'll catch you guys after the break. Enjoy. He's like Rufus from from fucking King Possible, except like the real version. It's like oh, not the real version, bro. Wait, that against me. Oh snap! Oh, oh, my roommate brought home a little mouse rat thing one time in a little cage, and and like, you know, this was towards the end there. I think he it being being but like, you know, he and he, and he puts the fuck and, he, and he's like, it's. I mean, he was taking care of it or whatever. He's like, he's like, oh, so I thought thing. I'm like, what did you get? He's like. It's like, you know, a little thing. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, 
We can't have any pets in, the, in that place. You know, this is <laughs> Russ's house where we live. Any fucking... Yeah, this is Russ's house. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. uh, you got a rat in here? And I'm like... And at this time, I was single and seeing ladies. I'm like, I'm going to bring bitches into this house and you got this fucking nigga on us bad enough your rat asses on the couch. You fucking... I called him Slime Dog Millionaire. Is that a slum dog millionaire like the movie from India? Slum dog millionaire? Uh huh. I call him slime dog. Slime dog millionaire. I just call him up. I'd be like, slime dog! <laughs> well, you were a slime dog. He wasn't that dirty. I just watched <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's definitely not that dirty, but. Yeah. Alright, well. Anyway, but I uh, was. Wait. Anyway, yeah, so I was just like, get rid of that fucking thing. And I was like, <laughs> Dude, that right. was so funny in the first one. When you, when you fucking knocked it over, I loved that. Hey, man. That was it, so it, good. It, not everyone has that kind of talent. Mm, right? hey, not everybody does. That's that's a nice swinging ball you got there. Oh, well, my balls but. always swing real good, baby. <laughs> yeah, You, you know how it does. But we hoped you liked um, that video. That was uh, pretty Yeah, get in. Pretty awesome. He's a wild fucking cat. You know, a little funny Snapchat thing we did back in the day, me and my lady. She uh, she's, she's a real funny girl. And so it's nice to have her on the... On the pod in snap form, so yeah, and uh, yeah, um, I mean, just a wild motherfucker. You know, we used to call him a <laughs> slime dog millionaire back in the day oh, because yeah. he was such a dirty <laughs> motherfucker. He just, you know, <laughs> yeah. everywhere in he the entire, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, everywhere right, in the entire place was just wild. He lived on the couch. He was a a couch dweller. You know. I think of all the times I like hung out with you, I never met him once. Yeah, that's because like, I generally <laughs> only invited people over while he was gone. I was like, or went out. I was yeah, like, reasonable, reasonable. You know, there were a couple like, times nah. where I was literally like, dog, I got a fucking slime dog. I got a, I got a <laughs> slum dog. I, yeah, <laughs> slime dog. I got, I got a couple, I got a couple, uh, I got, I got a couple ladies coming over here. I can't be. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah, cannot yeah. be here later tonight. <laughs> Take whatever drugs you would like out to your little <laughs> spot and do whatever it is you do away yep. from fucking here. Yep. You, know, you, get, a you get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had a roommate situation like that. <laughs> you never had a couch motherfucker. I've never had a couch motherfucker. Nope. Couch fucker. I actually, I slept on my couch a couple times just because I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I was the couch motherfucker. Yeah, well, that's everybody does that. That's yeah, reasonable, yeah, that's you know. Fair. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, yeah. You know. It, uh, it, anyway, uh, he, he was he was so funny, and, and he <laughs> he, he uh, that there was that one time we talked about in the in the in the the video there where we're, yeah. where where uh, you know he he literally comes home to me out of nowhere. I'm chilling. And, you know, just having a little beer. He comes out. He's like, you want to smoke? You know? I'm like, all right. You know? Trying to butter me up. And yeah. we get out there. And he's like, all right, dog. I got to talk to you about something. I'm like, what you talking about, fool? And he's like, all right, well, I, you know, I just got to tell you about something. You know, I'm like, what you, what, what, what what's you, going yeah, on? What's, yeah. what you talking about? You know? And he's like, well. Is this weed laced with crack? <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, well, I came home and I, I you know, I. Me or me, you know, he's like me and my lady. We went out, and he was seeing this stupid ass chick up from Elizabeth, you know, trashy ass lady, you know. She was real young too, you know, Gross. living with her parents, and and uh, was he at AB Universe too? He probably was. He <laughs> yeah. probably was Ugh. the king. We don't. We don't like those. He's people. a little for sure. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's a little for sure. Yeah. 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 And uh, he can be my little. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. <laughs> cool guy stuff. <laughs> cool guy stuff. <laughs> and uh, you know. She convinced him at the pet store to get this atrocious little freaking thing, and he shows it to me, and he's like, "Look what we got!" And you know, he's, I'm like, "It's a, it's a, I'm, you know, from New York. He's got this little freaking rat oh, with this gross. little nasty tail. I mean, this wasn't no." Little stew it little. This was, was fucking like master mouse? splinter <laughs> over here, motherfucker with his kung fu. I was like, get the fuck. Yeah, he looked at me, went into a freaking swan pose. I was like, get this shit. Then he should have given him he's some like, turtles. I was like, you gotta take this fucking thing back. And he's like, but we, you know, he's like, 
He's like, but, but we named him Bob or whatever. And I'm <laughs> like, take Bob's nasty fucking ass out of here. Tuck him Get back him to the store. Here. Tell him you didn't ask your parents. You know what I mean? <laughs> you didn't ask permission from your parents. You cannot <laughs> have it. I was like, you didn't ask your parents. <laughs> no, like, fucking get out of here. Funny ass thing. Gross. Grown man, Who you know, brings so. a rat to the... <laughs> I made him get rid of it. I was like, I ain't even gonna have it. Uh, I was, you know, at the time I was having ladies over. I was single. I was like, ain't gonna have. Ain't gonna be like, no. That's my living room rat. <laughs> nah, dude. dude. You want to meet Rat Ratatasker? <laughs> yeah, dude. That ain't my fucking thing, dude. He ratatouille in his own ass. I mean, he might have taught you how to fucking cook. Lemmy winks, yeah, dude. <laughs> Lemmy winks. <laughs> Lemmy winks. <laughs> South Park. Shout out. Oh, man. Fucking... Um, very cool stuff. You know. <laughs> And uh, gross rats, yeah, yeah dude. It's just <laughs> such a dirty motherfucker. And uh, uh there was another time uh, where uh, we were hanging out with some of my friends from New York and uh, you know, just vibing and drinking and stuff. And uh, he uh, ends up getting a little too drunk on some Oban or something. We were drinking some good whiskey, you know, and he couldn't hold his way, like I said, he was a little. And he uh, <laughs> and he uh, you know he ended up getting all butt hurt about something silly you know and just smashed and we we're like dude just chill out it's all good bro chill. like and he chill. just got the chill, fuck up was like I'm getting out of here gets the fuck up marches towards the door here's the door here's the wall spoosh right into the <laughs> wall just fucking just fucking, just fucking, just fucking like, and, walks and like, just you know Christ. what I mean like full on Gross. you know like. <laughs> plasters himself against the wall. It's because he was Falls plastered. down straight as a board like a cartoon. <laughs> knocked out cold. <sighs> snoring and shit. And I'm just like, dude. And this is like dude. my roommate. So I'm like, I have to pick this motherfucker up. So we go and we pick his fucking ass up and throw him in the bed. And I finish fucking around and drink him for a few hours. <laughs> as long as he's breathing right. And then, <laughs> and then uh, you know, on the way out, uh, you know, of course, I have to take him back. And we were about like, I don't know, two apartment complexes over, like, okay. you know, or like, you know, yeah. not too bad. Like across the street and across a complex. It was like, okay, we can get there. But it was freaking snowing, coming Ooh. down, cats and dogs, and this fucking Gross. fat motherfucker's all sleep. This <laughs> fat short king over here is fucking, <laughs> it's fucking, you know, you know, doing the mamba reina and shit out the fucking door and. <laughs> You know, I finally managed to get him through the actual door and I'm taking him across the field and he's fucking, you know, he slips and falls in the middle of the street. And I'm like, oh my God, dude, oh. come on. And I'm, I get this motherfucker <laughs> back up and Drunk it people, gets to dude. the point where I'm almost carrying his ass at this point. And he does this little sway thing and we end up fucking both going down and like I slip for a second and his ass like I end up dropping him and he rolls down into this like little like he ditch. He becomes the snow Drainage ball. ditch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <God. laughs> and I'm over here like god damn it. So I had to pull this motherfucker <laughs> out you know drag his ass home and just fucking the tales oh, of an alcoholic roommate you know what I mean. Dude, fucking. That's a uh, fucking uh, we had a buddy a long time ago, he fucking, he left the party. Nobody knew that he left and he was fucking trash. Yeah. And the fucking cops picked him up. He was just sleeping on the sidewalk. He just fell asleep on the sidewalk and just went to bed just in like, in like negative two degree weather. Just as you fucking, do. As you do. <laughs> fucking alcoholics. <laughs> alcoholics, dude. <laughs> you can sleep anywhere. Here's to you, alcoholics, baby. Yeah, I'm a completionist. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love that. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm a completionist. I'm a completionist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's some funny shit. But, you know, old Nicky Pooh wasn't all bad. Oh, I'm a, well, blank, bleep his name out. Oh, old yeah. Slime Dog Millionaire <laughs> wasn't wasn't so bad. He uh, you can't say his name, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Telling you. <laughs> old, old Slime Dog Millionaire wasn't all bad. You know, he didn't come without his, uh, his little perks there, his... uh. Mom was pretty hot. Hey, you know, <laughs> sometimes that's uh, that's what happens. It was the kind of thing where, like, we used to hang out in high school and shit, little stoners and whatnot. Oh, nice. and okay. He had, like, that mom that was a hot mom. And, you know, everybody was kind of like, oh, you know, your mom, you know. <laughs> your mom jokes were a little, like, more uh, fun <laughs> yeah. towards him because, you know what I mean, they hit a little harder. Your mom's not so fat, I'd fuck her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was, it was great. It was, and she literally, like, you know, she was good looking. And, uh, hey, you know. 
There's, and there's as time went on, we got older, matured. Matured. And uh, she <laughs> she stayed the same age, yeah. I'll tell you. She, yeah. you know, she must have been fucking 40 or something by the yeah. time, you know, but but uh one good looking older lady, 38, 40. I mean, I'm telling you, she was up there. Um and that's not too far away from us now, though. <laughs> I know, I know, but, but you know, and so uh I was like around 18, 19, and she started taking little trips out to our house and shit and uh nice. you know truth be told you know there were a couple times where like nick was you know working and i was like oh you know i'll take you out and like we said like we went out on like a little date and oh, i like cute. i took his mom to like the cute. uh the Adorable. good chinese restaurant out there in aurora yeah, you, you know go. and nice. like you that know. place is fucking fine yeah it's an aphrodisiac like, you can ooh, ask I nick's mom fucking. you know <laughs> 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 all right <laughs> so uh you know anyway yeah so i took her out to uh, you know, one of the nicer Chinese restaurants in uh, in, in Aurora, and then you know, had a little date, and afterwards, you know, it's a, those Chinese foods are an aphrodisiac apparently, because after the date, you know, we went back to my place, and she got a little a uh, little spicy, you know, mm -hmm. and oh uh, shit, oh shit, things ended up, uh, you know, getting to uh, other levels, and okay, things okay. were touched, and so you and Young Gravy have a couple things in common. We do, yeah, with right. Nick's mom. Cool. <laughs> Yeah. Eskimo hey. brothers. <laughs> yeah. slime, slime dog's mom. Slime dog's mom. No, oh, yeah. No slime names. dog. Believe it. <laughs> <laughs> we can put the dolphin noise in again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. Yeah, that's okay. Good. That's yeah, okay. Very good. And um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that was the first time nice. that we had so, kind of so fucked his mom. Got into it. And then. <laughs> oh, first time. The first this time. Was first, yeah, this was um, a recurring thing. Okay. Well, I, and then oh. I think a separate <laughs> time within like the year or so. Okay. She came back out because. Okay. I guess she couldn't get enough. She came you know? out of the, the closet or? No, no. <laughs> came back out from, uh, you know, fuck a soda or wherever she was from. Fair. And uh, <laughs> came to, uh, you know, Came to stay with us again, you know, and I mean, we had her like sleeping on the floor in our living room. It was a one bedroom apartment. I had the only bedroom. Yeah. Fucking he was on the couch. Nick's on the couch and his mom's just on this little floor Jeez. thing. I would have given my mom the couch. We got her a least. blow up because okay, we were like, Jesus well, Christ. I was like, dude, yeah. don't fucking, you know, make your mom yeah, sleep what on a the fucking, fucking floor. Shitty I had a blow like, up. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. He's a shit bag, you know what I mean? And his mom's Slime the one dog. that used to send him money to get, oh, the, shit. get the alcohol and, you know, because, you know, like, a true alcoholic it's like oh i need it for rent i need it for this and then and then you know he's right the fuck back out there the motherfucker had me drive him to rehab one time for meth and when Damn. we got there like he was like all right later dude and like he told me later on he was like yeah i went to buy meth and i was like you son of a bitch dude, dude you wow know? that's and, shitty yeah you can't do that like especially if it's for rehab and stuff and i was like of course i'll drive you yeah you like know? you're a good friend like i was and you know it's it's not worth having those people around and uh nah. you know it's cleansing to get rid of them and then you can tell fun stories on the podcast exactly, <laughs> exactly. so yeah and then uh later on nick's mom ended up coming out uh again because she couldn't get enough of uh yours truly <laughs> right right and uh <laughs> and uh she stayed with us and i decided you know i was like why don't we go on a little camping trip you know what i mean and i had like all the gear and whatnot so we went up camping. i was trying to uh bring up the guns and do a little shooting and stuff and so we went up camping with Nick and his mom. I'm, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, slime dog, slime dog, beep that out, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know, old millionaire was, uh, you know, we went and we hung out. We set up the tents, and uh, after uh, you know, we stopped at a little bar up there. Had a little like a uh, stop up there. Were some like crazy ass yeah. rednecks. I was like, I don't know. I'm glad I have a gun. <laughs> and I'm like, and we, we and then we went and got this shit set up, and then um, you know, went out and did a little bit of shooting before it got dark. Cool. And uh, you know, his mom had never shot a gun before. She's a Jehovah's Witness or whatever. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. he's also, yeah, him and his mom are Jehovah's Witnesses and shit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Full on Jehovah's. Jehovah's. They witnessed Jehovah. So, so the only gun she shot was yours. That, no. that was No, no, gun. we went up and she shot the gun and, okay, and everything. She well, shot. Previously. Well, only... my gun, right, yeah, true. Yes, yeah. she she had only handled one gun, a big yeah, yeah. Italian high caliber. <laughs> but, um, yeah, neither here nor there. And so we went in and... Uh, you know, did a little shooting, and then when we came back to camp, we we cooked up some stuff, 
I started chopping some firewood, and this is when I was in the best shape of my life, in fighting shape, was training, and, you know, really uh, for MMA and Muay Thai and stuff for years, and so I was really, really just ripped up in shape, Shredded. and I had my my... My tanker. You said I used to look like a Vin, like an old Diesel. school Vin Diesel you know, <laughs> yeah. before he, he uh, got too fat, <laughs> and uh, you know that was uh, and that that, that and and uh, you, you know basically I started chopping some firewood and I had on my little tank top with the little cross backs that I used to work out in and I'm chopping the wood and I'm glistening and. Glistening. You know what I mean? And you could just Sweaty. tell his mom was just sitting there having a drink like. I like this. Um, and, and uh, you know, that's when I kind of knew. I was like, oh, it's it's happening, you know, because, like, we went, you know, we went at it a little bit before and definitely. Nick there on the, or uh, Slime Dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slime Dog, <laughs> man, yeah. He, you know, so we, later that night, we're all. But anyway, I, I could see she was looking at me while I was cutting firewood and yeah. fucking Slime Dog <laughs> sitting there just pounding fucking alcohol because he's an alcoholic even, yeah. yeah yeah oblivious and so he keeps drinking drinking and then ends up going to sleep and <clears throat> and uh you know just completely passes out and he's out like a rock not a meteorite from the fucking pluto <laughs> could wake this kid up <laughs> and uh you know his mom's got a different tent there and so you know she, she you know we ended up talking by the campfire you know I put on that fire super fire Riz, fire. you know what I mean? Riz, Riz Factor. What are you, fucking Gen Z? Riz, that's right. Riz, Riz, Riz Factor 9000, wow. as the kids say. Riz and, Factor uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I turned it on, bro, and I did. And his mom was eating out of the palm of my hands, and she was... She was just, you know, it, it just eating something out of the palm of her hand. You know, hands. I was like, oh, you know, you're beautiful. You'll, you'll find all this love and do do do. You know what I mean? She was like, she was like, I think I found something right now. And I was like, oh. oh. And then we ended up, you know, going into her tent and shit got a little heavy. And, you know, so, uh, you know, that was when I really had a truly fully connected with Slime Dog's mamas. And, you, uh, you know, yeah. so I'm sorry, you know, Slime Dog, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> I, I feel like you knew for years. There were times when I literally had talked to him and I was like, because I had, a, you know, almost considered after that, like dating his mom. And I had a little talk with him and I was like, would it be so bad if, you know, because him and his mom, mom him, you know, his mom and I were always really flirty and shit with each other kind of in front of him too. Like, so he was, he always kind of knew it like, you know, I was like, I was like, basically like, I was like, would it be so bad if I was like, if I was, you know, if I was, you know, your mom's boyfriend and all that. And I was, I, and he was like, he was like, he's like, bro. I was like, I was like, you know, I would be nice to her, treat her right, all that. You know me, bro. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm a samurai, me. dog. He was like, he was like, I know, man. I know. And it's just why couldn't it just be someone else's mom? And I just thought that was the funniest. Why couldn't it be someone else's mom? I thought that was the funniest shit. He, he wasn't digging it. He wasn't digging uh, it. He was adorable, dude. And, <laughs> and so, Almost yeah. stepchild adorable. Dude, that kid was like my retarded, illegitimate son for years. I had helped him become a man. And like I taught him the importance of not lying and covering your mistakes. I legit taught this kid to be a man. So... And like to be fair, like I literally was as his, you know, like friend that he ended up moving in, like high school friend that he ended up moving in with me. And I taught him what I knew and how to be a man. And, you know, I held him accountable for shit in a different way than his mom could. And, you know, he respected me. And, you know, there was one or two times I had to bop his ass down a little bit. But like, you know, I taught I taught him to be a man. He really was like my retarded little illegitimate son for a long time. You know, I love that kid. Right. And he just uh he he uh, he wasn't an honorable uh, fella, you know. He also like the drinking problem just got to the point where it was too much. I mean, there was a uh, one time where he actually, uh, I I had uh, you know he was we were chilling and like like I, I I just came home. I was out doing some stuff with some friends. Came home and we were drinking, and I was having a a beer outside. I had a drink with Nick, and you know. He was, he, dog. yeah, 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 old, old slimy dog, and he he was like, <clears throat> he he was he was basically like, you know, I'm gonna hit the head in real quick, and he he goes to the bathroom, and he's there for a little while, and 
like, you know, I don't think anything of it. And then I have to like piss after a while and I start, you know, we're drinking and shit. And so I go in and I'm trying to hit the bathroom. I'm like, all right, dude, like you can be a while in there. And like, I don't hear anything. And so I leave him alone for a little bit. And after like 30 minutes, I come back. I'm like, what the fuck you doing in there, dude? Like this motherfucker <laughs> used to smoke meth. So I was like, if you smoking meth in there, like I knew he used to do it his jobs in the bathroom. I was like, Jeez. I was like, dude, you ain't supposed to do that shit in the house. You go for, you were asked for a little fucking drug walk, fucking happy little ass smoking meth in my bathroom, you know? And so uh, <laughs> he wasn't, uh, but what ended up happening is I, end, uh, you know, cause I was like, if you don't open this door, dude, I'm, I'm, unscrewing the fucking thing and coming yeah, in yeah. and so he he didn't respond i unscrewed the door i come in and this motherfucker i shit you not is face down ass up in the in the bathtub with his legs sticking what? out in the air <laughs> pants around his ankles with his little ding ding sticking out just like, and it was a little bathroom. ding ding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> it was probably cold. I mean, yeah, yeah, it was. It was really a little ding ding. And yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. And uh, so you know, this this and so what had happened is, because at first I was like, "What the fuck?" You know, but I put it together. This motherfucker was he was he was pissing and shit with his pants around his ankles because he's fucking drunk. You know, so he's got his pants around his ankles, pissing in there, and he. Falls asleep, literally passes the fuck out mid piss, and the the toilet was right next to the bathtub, as a lot of bathrooms are. And he whoop tipped <laughs> over, fell in, went face up, pants in the air, ankle you know pants around his ankles, and <laughs> and fucking you know I should have just been like come out with your hands up and your <laughs> pants down, you know. <laughs> yeah. and this motherfucker already had the pants down part going and. And like I said, dude, I, I had to fucking pull his ass out and like wake him up and be like, put your dick away and like away. have some dignity, dog, is what I told him. <laughs> and I was like, yo. Oh, yeah, that is, that is, dude, I, I had something fucking similar. Uh, <laughs> some dude fucking, he was at our house for a party and uh, he just like apparently just dropped his pants at the edge of our couch and just like, peed there oh and yeah just fucking yeah. peed all over the couch just pissed and then, into your couch yeah and then fucking <laughs> couldn't asleep. find a plant to water so <laughs> right like the bathroom was literally like 10 feet away that's and the worst part <laughs> just fucking and then like fell asleep in it and then tried to fucking deny it <laughs> in the morning and we're like dude you're like sleeping in that he's like, a fucking denier that's denier funny. yeah dude that same night fucking uh, you're like you're fucking covered in it and the couch is wet he's like I don't Shit know, happened, dog. Dude, I was, it was just like it was drool. It was, telling you, <sighs> drooled all over my dick. <laughs> but you did. You said that some people saw his ass doing it too, though. Too. Yeah, yeah. Some people saw that, and they're like, "Yo, you know, like, it was him." Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was. Can't deny it. It was pretty. It was pretty. Yeah, he's like, a fucking rider. Rider. You don't want to pee on me. Nope, nope. Mm, double tones on me. And then that same night, fucking uh, some lady that we had no idea who she was, she just came and was partying with us, and uh, she threw up on, like, the one of my roommate's, like, rugs, and then, like, she tried to, like, confront her about it and be like, you need to clean this up. And the girl was like, I didn't do that. And then started, like, swinging on my roommate. Yeah, and so we yeah. had to fucking, like, break them Little up. Little girl fight and action. Yeah, yeah, like, gotta... Because, like, she she was just gonna, like, she just was gonna beat the shit out of this poor girl. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God, we had to just save her. And so we, we found, like, whoever her friend was and, like, made them take them home and... I was like, Jesus Christ. That's the way the world uh, works. People are wild, dude. Yeah, man. Wild these days. <laughs> wild. Uh, yeah, fucking roommates, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. And, uh, yeah, um, I, uh, I definitely remember, uh, this, uh, that reminds me of, uh, just talking about, Motherfuckers from high school and yeah. people like that that you know for a long time and then ended up, uh, you know, knowing later on, you know, like there, there was this kid uh, 
I went to high school with also used to hang with the same group of me and Slime Dog, you know? Yeah. The stoners. Because <laughs> me and Slime Dog, you know, we, we supplied the, the, the place with the, the things that mm. the people needed. Gotcha, gotcha. Man of Fair the people. And yeah, yeah, man of the people. But Slime Dog always did up his share and then didn't have anything to do. And that's why we stopped doing business with old Slimy Dog. Because Slimy Dog was a slimy dog. He was also a pincher. Mm. You know who you are, Slime Dog, you fucking pincher. Always pinching your sack, dog. You know what I'm saying? You can't pinch the sack. Got a little sack hanging out. A little pinch. pinch. A little Telling pinch. you. Boop. <laughs> Take that. Maybe that. Maybe, Maybe that. that. Maybe that. Bro, bit of that. not the kid. Fucking let this dude sleep at your house. He's over there like, oh, he fell asleep. Dude, it's the that's pincher, fucked. dog. That's that was so slime fucked. dog, bro. That was slime dog. And so I thought I taught him better, but you know, sometimes. Once a slimy dog, always a slimy dog. Always a slimy dog. And, uh, you know. And not a millionaire. He definitely uh, was not a millionaire. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> speaking of the old uh, slime dogster, uh, he, yeah. uh, he literally, won we didn't call him that for nothing. One time he literally <laughs> calls me up and he's like, dude, you got to open the door. And I'm like, what's going on, man? Like. Well, you know, I mean, you got someone chasing you. He's like, dude, you got to open the door, unlock it, <laughs> yeah. get get the bathroom open. I'm like, what? And he's like, mud butt. And I'm like, what are you? Mud butt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, what? And he's like, mud butt, dude, I got mud butt. And he's like, open the door. I got to. He's like, I got to eject, man, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. God, <laughs> and, ew, gross. Yeah, yeah he had mud butt. So, uh, he's like running. Gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was skating down the fucking path as quick as he could. He was like, I'll be there in like three minutes, man. You got to get that door open, man. I got mud butt. <laughs> I got mud butt. I got mud butt, bro. Oh, oh gross. Man. Muddy, dirty, slimy, <laughs> man. That's fucking... <laughs> Slum dog, yeah, he he did not seem like a uh, a winner. <laughs> he, you know, he, well, he won this uh, real nasty wife who I heard, you know, oh, yeah. bops him around and got oh, the cops shit. called well, on him, and that's literally got a charge put on him on oh, her own husband. Yeah, fuck. so he's got his just desserts, you know. He's got yes. nine kids. She kind of trapped him. She had one when she met him. And oh, was shit. like, you're his daddy. And then, like, immediately had more kids. And, All his? Uh, no. Like, one is not, and then the other two are. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said he had nine kids. No, he's not legitimately oh, okay. nine. Okay, he, I was, he I has was three, like, whoa. But he has three fucking kids. <laughs> and this Fair. is a guy who can barely pay his rent, you know. And, and, and Yeah, the, kids are the chick expensive. just trapped him, you know what I mean? Fair. I remember it was like, dude, you want to play Xbox? And, like, anytime he'd do something, she was like, are you feeding my children with that money? And it's like, yeah, but she don't work. You know what I mean? Fair, yeah. No, well, it's, I can't work, you know. I'm, right. I'm taking care of the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, reasonably, like, taking care of children, is like, a stay-at-home mom is, like, a full-time job. It's, it's, it's not hard. paid. It's totally hard. I actually, but, uh, I saw some dumb shit on TikTok today about how, like, someone wanted to propose a law where, like, the the stay at home mom legally gets half of her husband's paycheck, and I was like, "That's that's stupid. Like, you can't you can't legally do shit like that." But like, yes, it's still like a a thing. But like, fucking whatever. Anyway, yeah, yeah. anyway, no, slab it's, dog. It's <laughs> pretty fucking ridiculous. But that that's the kind of stuff that's out there right now. And uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, people are wild, man. People fucking are wild. Up. Just insane. Another time this dude he comes in. <laughs> Same dude, Slimy Doggy. He Say, comes okay. in. Our man Slimy Dog. He comes in. <laughs> and and, and I, I, the night before, I had had this uh, beautiful chick sleep over and all that, you oh know, God. a little brown sugar. You As know. you do. It went, uh, you know, into the next uh, morning. She was really into me. And so uh, after that, uh, you know, it's about 11 a.m. and I get this knock on my door. You know, I always have my shit all locked up because you never know. Like the pincher. Fair. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you can can't never trust fully, it. Yeah, 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 you don't leave exactly. shit outside. I had the lock, lock to my door from the bathroom and the lock to the other thing. I like installed yeah. locks. So I was Fair. Like, no. Yeah, no. I mean, especially if you know somebody's like that, like... Yeah, you can't and, take it. And, any and the best thing for that was to get rid of the temptation, you know, but shouldn't have even let let that fool in, you know. But yeah, 
but you know, yeah, as an adult, tried, he yeah. hadn't done that kind of thing, you True. know, because I mean, he also knew what time it was, you know. Fair. Well, but he, he, yeah. best to always <laughs> just let it known to be like he doesn't know, go in there. No, no worries, you know. But yep. uh, anyway, the, the fucking he he comes and pounds on the door, and he's like, "Yo, dude, yo," and I'm like. What I'm like, what's good, dude? What 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 the fuck are you like? What why do you need, why are bro? you waking like, me up? I got yeah, her. Yeah. What the fuck do you want? Exactly. I'm like, what's going on, fool? And he's like, he's like, man, you gotta come hit my friend. You gotta come hit his friend. You gotta hit my friend. I'm like, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? So I'm thinking he wants me to go like fight some fool, and he's like, no, yeah. no. He's like, he's like my friend. Uh, his fucking like meth head ass friend because you know his, yeah, his both, crackhead yeah. buddy yeah they're both little meth heads and what they flock together you that's know. right right birds like, of a feather like flamingos <laughs> like flamingos you gotta watch out for those Mark Riblet flamingos that come after yeah. your children's eyes <laughs> yeah I heard so <laughs> dude I heard that too that's so strange <laughs> shout out Mark Riblet big Riblet <laughs> yeah <Thanks ass. laughs> I just found out about you you're pretty cool <laughs> yeah I mean yeah for sure <laughs> And anyways, anyway. this, dude, this dude's knocking on the door and he's like, yo, dude, you got to hit my friend. And I'm just like, what? What are you talking about? Dude? And he's like, all right, my, my meth head ass friend, he told his fucking work for like the fifth time that he got jumped. And that's why he can't come in. Like a bunch of dudes beat him up. He got jumped. And oh. and they're like, they're like, we don't believe you. And he's like, so we got to like, you know, he's Go like, and beat the shit out. He's like, well, oh yeah. So, so he wanted Nick to hit him. And Nick tried to hit him with a skateboard. But Nick's such a tweaker. <laughs> His little ass like <laughs> kept like missing and hitting him in the ear and shit. And Jesus. he was like, "All right, you're All done." Right. And so he went and got me because, like, at the time I was you training get a some lot. Body shots. They knew like. I fucking uh, had some good uh, good moves there. So, uh, you know, I, I, I bop out there and I'm like, "All right, dude." And you know, I'm like, "Here we go." And like, you know, so I give him a couple, just like bah to the ear, bah. You know, took him in the little hallway next to the the unit. You yeah. know, so it wasn't like right out in front of my door. You know, little closed doors. And so the yes, yeah, so we closed the doors in the hallway and just like couple ear shots. I mean, not ear shots, but a couple couple like little cheek shots and a couple like little orbital pops. You know, nothing that's gonna like knock him out, but like it'll st- bruise stuff that's definitely gonna bruise. Yeah, so I tried to really gotcha. just like whack and tap this ass. Nice. You know, like pull the punch <laughs> at the end, but really slap him with it. Yeah, and you know. Got him with a, got him with a bunch of good, uh, good little shots, and you know, sent him on did, his did way. Did he look so. nice and, and fucked up? He did. He, he did. He yeah, like he got he, beat the shit out of. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. he de- as he deserved the fucking. Dude, motherfucker. Yeah, like he wasn't gonna... allowed in my house. He was always hanging out on my fucking porch. You know, I'm fucking porch ass <laughs> motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. You know. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Telling you. Telling you, man. That's. I just can't imagine like telling work that you got like mugged or like jumped and like. Fuck, like, yeah, because you got to prove that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, and so he got out of work for one extra day. I think he got fired too. I mean, reasonable. Like, if you're getting jumped every couple of days, like, I wouldn't want you as an employee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what are you, why are you in these Again? situations? Yeah, like, <laughs> fuck, this is got like a bingo card. Like, you know, jump, there's jump, a, jump, jump. There's a limit to With some the of this free shit, spot. Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and like, I, man, I, well, I, I did, uh, I used COVID as an excuse because our rule was uh, <laughs> if you test positive for COVID, you can't come back to work. And so I was testing yeah, yeah. positive still, but like I was fine. But so for like two weeks, I was off work yeah, and yeah, just, yeah. and they paid me for it too, which was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, a lot of people took advantage of that. I think that's why a lot of companies yeah. were like, all right, all right, enough of that. Fuck you. I'm right. You COVID none now. of that. <laughs> yeah. None of that COVID but shit. Like if you have COVID, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. Just wear a mask. <laughs> yeah. People are. Are just over even if you're it in now, the food industry you know? yeah like, there, people are yeah. just like over it now dude i see a so. bunch of people uh at school just like wearing masks still and stuff and i'm like i get it like especially if you're immune compromised or anything like yeah, that yeah. like totally not hating on you but like it's just wild that like so many people just don't and so many people still do I mean, yeah, well, I mean, you know, I mean, there are people who have COVID and won't wear a mask, you know. Fair, I mean? yeah, which and is ridiculous. Like, I think that should there's have been... a there's a you know, it's it's still reasonable, like, but yeah. like at the same time, like, 
you know, you're probably okay at the grocery store. You know, going through somewhere like the airport, you really got to be, like, masking up, in my opinion. But yeah. just, you know, depends. Can you afford to get sick? You know, you're probably not going to die, but just can you afford to get sick for, like, Right, yeah, weeks most most people like can't. Sitting. Like, you, you get exactly. sick, and if you can't go to work, I mean, that's... You, or you people just have to work pace. sick. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah it just depends Well, that's why, on like, the food doing, industry yeah. is so nasty, because it's like, you don't know how many of those motherfuckers are sick. And, yeah, like, once, yeah. once one person gets sick, everybody gets get mm -hmm. sick and it's just uh, <laughs> yeah but but yeah that reminds me of this other kid i knew uh jaron back in the day i don't even mind saying that fool's name and like he, he straight up uh <laughs> he uh one time we were smoking <clears throat> and jaron grabs this uh he had this little monkey wrench like a like a uh ratchet yeah head you know and he put a screen in it and he just smoked out of it like it was a chillum like a one inch chillum He's oh, like, it's geez. metal. That's awesome. And nice, just, nice. And like, and he picked up, uh, there, okay, we used to smoke under this bridge. We had a few smoke spots. There was the As path. The path there was obviously. the tunnel. Fair. And As then there do. was the bridge. Dude, there's always a bridge. The bridge was legit. You smoke the under bridge. the bridge. Yeah, and yeah. under the bridge, um, there was like these little rocks and people had smoked there before. And I remember one time previously, we had gone there together uh, with a couple of the friends, fucking sauce the other plug, and we uh, we uh, Saucy. we were smoking some weed, and I looked on the ground, and I was like, "Is that fucking weed?" And we picked it up and smoked it, and it was legit weed that some like stoners had come before us and dropped gifted off and like to you. gifted and and literally yeah. like for the, the, the they had forgot the there yeah. like they just dropped it and it, there was just this little nug and we smoked it so another time i went back with this kid jaron and we're smoking and he sees a little green bit and he's like bet picks it up puts it in his little pipe joint nugget thing we got and he just you know <sighs> smokes this shit to the head and he's like and his face like turns purple i'm like what is going on dude and he's just with these like black smoke and he's like oh uh, 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 uh. and i'm like what dude what's wrong and he's like dude it's it's not weed it's not weed i'm like what what do you mean it's not weed he's like it's goose poop bro <laughs> i was like i was like what and this this motherfucker picked up green ass goose poo Gross. thought it was a fucking Gross. thought it was <laughs> thought it was weed oh, put it in his little monkey no. wrench which again is Gross. only like an inch away from this shit yeah so it's not no, even like a big old pipe he inhaled yeah just goose. just roasted goose <laughs> poo which by the way will like just like weed and this motherfucker smoked goose poop oh man it's kind of like cheech and chong when they smoke his dog mm, shit who no. ate the ounce except this goose didn't eat an ounce it was just goose it poop was just goose poop just goose poop it was goose poop that is disgusting needless to that say is... i did not hit the goose poop good that's smart um, but, uh, probably yeah i, I made probably... a good decision that day you did you did what the fuck dude what the fuck goose what a dumbass poop. and you know this kid is a fucking dumbass because later on in life he uh not later on in life like a few months later you know, within the same year, this okay. kid, this kid, this was his demise. This kid went to, uh, you know. Like real demise? Yeah, so. Oh, shit, okay. So, uh, like, he didn't, like, die. Oh, but, like, okay, that's what I thought. I was he like, was gone. I was like, he was gone after that, you know. Fair, fair. So, um, you know, so m stupid motherfuckers, me and, like, the other plug sauce, we hung out with some stupid fools like Slime Dog and this kid, Jaren. And, you know. When we would want to like drink from the liquor store, we were in high school. Uh, uh, not the liquor store, King Supers. They had like the forties on the shelves, oh, nice. so we would have like Slime Dog go in there. One time, Slime Dog went in there, came out with like four of them in his hoodie and just walked out. We all like, went and drank nice. on the roof and shit. Nice. Yeah, good times. Though. Good times. You know, Slime good, Dog. Good hood. Slime Dog stuff. was a fucking retard. Or a, a, a tech tart or whatever. Tick -tart, but yeah. uh you can't use the R word yeah, yeah, on the yeah. podcast. Yeah, That's where yeah, I yeah. draw the line yeah, is the R word. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's redacted. <laughs> redacted. You're not allowed to say that. Uh, redacted. So, and uh and uh you know, so 
he ended up uh so e even slime dog you know was smarter than this fucking kid one time jaron this was his demise in high school this was the end of this kid he went to the king supers and instead of stealing something like the 40s are just sitting there in an aisle nobody's usually in boop 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 you walk out yeah. I wouldn't do it, but, like, was way less of a retarded mark. This kid went behind the, like, customer service counter while there was no one behind it. And, like, the smokes thing was open because they didn't used to lock it there because it was in the middle of Greenwood Villas. And they were like, well, yeah. this is the whitest neighborhood ever. Why would we do that? He opens it up, takes two cartons of cigarettes, gets out the door, makes it. Makes it, gets away with it, gets back up to the path. He's like, I get it. We're like, word, bro. We're just sitting here smoking. Like, that's retarded. So, like, we ended up smoking a couple cigs with him, you know? And he's like, oh, I don't have a lighter. And literally, like, because uh, he, he took off after that. He gave us, like, a couple packs and then took off. So we're sitting there smoking cigs and... Um, you know, he's supposed to come back in a little bit. And I guess he went to try to light one of the cigs himself on the way down. And he realized he didn't have a, uh, he realized he didn't have a lighter. So he, he, he goes back into the supermarket. He just stole the two cartons from, got away, goes back in, steals a big pack of Strike Anywhere matches Put some under his thing, and when he gets to the door, some like big ass security guy that was in the back was like, "Hold on, little kid," and he was like, "Boom!" and busted. Went to juvie. Kid did not come back till ten years later, Jesus. when an ex of mine was. Uh, well, okay, he didn't come back till ten years later when he calls me from the thing, and he's like, or like maybe five five years later, five to seven years later, calls me and he's like, bro, because we were like freshmen when this happened. Jeez. He calls me and he goes, bro, just like he used to in high school. And, you know, this kid was also, he was just like Nick. He was like, oh, I'm your best friend. But then he was like a pinch in you and shit. This kid didn't have my back. He wasn't a nice, you know, and I had grown up. I was seeing this girl at the time, you know, and uh, this crazy Ukrainian fucking chick, you know, ended up joining a cult later in life after oh, we yeah, broke you up. Told me about but that, at the yeah. time, she was normal, you know, <clears throat> and uh, uh, I, I ended up not hearing about this kid until later on. She, one of her roommates, when we started dating, mm -hmm. was like, "Oh, I knew that kid, and yeah, he slept over here for like a few months right after he came out of jail," and I was like. Yeah, Jaren, and that's that. This is the tale well, of Jaren, bro. Nice. Like, nice. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fucking, fucking Jaren, fucking Jaren, bro. Jar Jar, Jar Jar. Yo, Jiggy Jar Jar, do. Jiggy Jar Jar, do. Yeah, yeah. Little little one for the for the boys. Uh, yeah, get <clears> up on that mic like you're kissing a nice schwazul. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get it, get it nice and nice and close. Oh, that's yeah. that's better. Get it in you. Yeah, I just I didn't want to be like leaning like yeah, into yeah, it, yeah. you know. So you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> hey, like I'm just loud mm, enough to project. Mm, to you, boom, to, I can't beatbox. Like, uh, or did Mark Riblet beatbox or no? He was they, just they doing were the, all doing. Yeah, stuff. yeah was, they'll, they'll like yeah. they'll do a little beats and ah! sometimes they'll add stuff. <laughs> That they got like awesome. looping machines and he'll come out and <laughs> yeah. he's like, get shot, motherfucker, get it. Bro, 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 bro. And like, you know, like he's like mixing like, you know, hits yeah. off the table and shit. Uh -huh. And, and they had like the, the those like weird shaker things yeah, or whatever. Dude. Yeah, they, that was pretty cool. Fucking was Mark Ribbon. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah man uh, but um it was a good pod you know yeah it was that's all the uh <clears throat> time the culprits have for today so no more uh, slime dog stories <laughs> <laughs>
We're uh, <laughs> we're leaving the dog in the past. Baby. Okay, all right. Uh, leave, leave the dog mm-hmm. outside. Just kidding. Don't leave your dogs outside. That is animal yeah, cruelty. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but uh, you know, trying to keep things uh, all clean, dog from here out. Clean you know? dog. All right. Yeah. And, and keep all them slimy ones away. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nothing but the best for us in the future. Yeah, nothing <laughs> but the best for your chest, baby. That's Ooh. what I always say. Yeah. Right. <laughs> nothing but the best for your chest. <laughs> All right, man. All well, right. Uh, it's been another good podcast. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all the time we have for you guys today. But, uh, you know, oh, we yeah. love you. And, we do. Uh, we love you so much. You know, I love you. Love you too, brother. Fucking bro. Snail. Squirrel. Mm. Octopus. <laughs> Octopus, right. <yeah. laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Some sort of. Jeffree Star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We love you too. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I mean, he, I think he got canceled. Take, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, give or take. Cancel hit. Yeah. Forget that one. But you know, <laughs> we do love you out there. And there's no mistake. We do. There. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you come find us on uh, Patreon, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Twitter, X, L, F, M, N, L, G, all the alphabet crew. All the things. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we're, uh, we're waiting for you, baby. So, yeah, we are. Uh, uh, looking forward to more stuff in the future. And uh, let's finish her off, man. With a gong. Yeah, I'll get, there you go. There, there it nice is. And, nice, yeah, and, yeah. nice and there. Ooh. All right. Peace. You, fuck you, you're cool, and fuck you, I'm out.